Hey guys, it's C2 here, and I'm going to be doing a breakdown video of this render. Um, if this video gets 200 likes, I'll do a giveaway of the Cinema 4D file without my lights and without my uh, materials here. Um, maybe if this video hit, hit something saying like 500 likes, I'd probably give them away. But I don't think that's going to happen unless you guys really pull through. Um, this is a pretty insane render. Um, like I said, 200 likes, it's your, guys', it's your guys's, and I'm going to be doing a breakdown of it. So we can start with this folder right here, and I've already organized them all. Um, what this is basically is it's a uh, O from composited, and I was just screwing around, and I have a displacer, formula, and wrap on it, and it ended up coming out with this, and I figured, wow, that looks pretty sick. I might as well build off of this. So that's how I kind of started with this. And then next up was the exploded junk. And what this is, it's it's basically that, except um, I tossed on a white material and an explosion effects. So this is not throw seed at all. This is just polygons. They're like flying off of it. So it, I think it's still pretty cool. And it looks really nice, especially since it's kind of got that abstract feel. Um, the next step in this was the Obey logo and uh, really it's not too complicated um, all the obey logo is is I pulled in the spline and uh, I put it on extrude nerves and then for caps I have a fillet cap with 0.5 radius and then a two-step excuse me two-step is uh, my favorite and then I have my uh, main material on there and then also if I show you guys in the render let me pull it up really quick you can see how it kinda has like this outline around it um, that is from the selection here on this material it's called R1 and what that does is it maps it to the fillet cap and uh, it's a really useful and really helpful tip um, a step after that is the torus chain and this is the one that I gave away in uh, one of my recent tutorials and basically all I did was I took it and I put a formula on it uh, for, it's not really an effector I don't exactly know the correct terms for all these um, but it made it look pretty cool, kind of bent it, distorted it, whatever you want to call it. And I'm probably going to be playing around with formula a little bit more because I seem to like it and it seems to kind of fit what I do. So, there's not really much to explain in that. The final step was this landscape material, not material, uh, landscape. Basically all I did was, um, I took the landscape, bring down the polygon count, and then, uh, I well, what is it? Matrix extruded it a little bit, then tossed on some hyper hyper nerves. And sorry, that was a big truck going by. Um, and it turned out pretty cool. I like it. Um, yeah. And then finally, last but not least, is the Pentagon grid. And really, what this is is it's just kind of like a space filler. And I think it turned out pretty cool. Um, I kind of like the look to it. Uh, not really much to explain for that one either. Um. Like I said, thanks for viewing this. Thanks for all the feedback on Twitter. There is a lot of feedback in the interactions from this. Just a bunch of people that want a tutorial and things like that. And this is kind of the breakdown with the giveaway. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. And yeah, 200 likes and it will be yours. Sorry for my hushed voice. My hushed voice. My dad is sleeping in the other room and I really don't want to wake him up. But I wanted to get this video out there for you guys. So thanks for watching. Hopefully we hit 200 likes. If not, you guys are SOL. It's kind of a uh, subscriber motivated video. And that's really how a lot of my tutorials are going to be. I'll probably be doing some sort of giveaway attached to them. So thanks for viewing. See you guys later.